Hello, how you doing? Welcome to my channel. My name is Bobby. I'm into spirituality. I just want to talk about it real quick. What does it matter to you? How spiritual are you? How deep do you want to get spiritually? Does it matter? Why are you here? You're here because you're broken. We're all here because we're broken. If we all start from that angle. Because I think about this. If I was in a college, um, you know, you know, amphitheater or whatever. I've, you know, if I was speaking to a, a class or whatever. And I was talking to children or young people about the future. And what they want to do with their lives. And how they want to live. And mental slavery. And all these things that I've been talking about. And self-love. I would say follow your bliss. Do what you got to do. I would say, where are you at in this life? Here's the thing. If you are sane and you know you're sane and you're not addicted to, to like, I mean, to meth or to crack or to alcohol. I mean, because alcohol abuse is the same thing. If you're addicted to alcohol, there's no difference between that and meth. It's just a lot sneakier. Alcohol is just a sneakier and more acceptable, um, you know, whatever you want to call it. Like, you know, vice or whatever as compared to you know cocaine and meth and all that other crap that really just destroys your life but you got to focus on you know on that but here's the thing if you're a young person and you're out in the world and you have your mental capacity and you're physically fit you have the world at your feet and I mean this you can do anything as long as you can think straight and you're not gonna destroy yourself with drugs or alcohol you are fucking so ahead of the game, baby. That is it. You are you are already won. You already won. And all you got to do is go through this life and try to fix yourself as much as possible. Because you are here for a reason. To fix yourself. And you're either fixing this or you're destroying it even more. And it's like, how many times do you want to repeat life and, you know, reincarnation and whatever? I believe in that, by the way. I repeat, I understand that you grow as an entity and you, I think it's a, it's a matter of building yourself up as a, as a, as a, you know, etheric being as this spiritual energetic, you know, you know, angel where you're like, you're above, you know, the physical form and you're in the 5D and you're working magic that way. But, you know, 3D still needs to be tended to and, and, and lessons need to be learned and people need to be helped. Earth angels just come down and they're just cool. And all they do is they go around helping other people that are having problems and finding their way. And they're trying to fix themselves. And they're working on themselves. And that in itself is a blessing. And it's, like I said, if, you, if you're not addicted to something and you're not struggling with mental issues, then you are already ahead of the game, baby. Because I've seen it and it's tough for people. And you can live in and you can live in your vehicle for a little bit. Come on now. It's not like, like I said, Jewel even did it. And she don't leave towels on the floor no more, right? So she's cool. So it's not like a traumatic experience. It's, you think of it as an adventure. Think of it like as an extended camping trip, like what I'm doing. I still have wood that I haven't burned. I need to do a fire pretty soon. I'll probably do that tomorrow or the next day. That's part of my spirituality. But, uh, it's part of the cleansing. That and salt baths. But at the same time, uh, you just need to work on yourself and just know you're broke and just know you're going to heal. And yeah, you're gonna be golden, baby. You are gonna be golden, pony girl and boy, and non specific, non gender entity. You're golden too, baby. I ain't leaving anybody out. We're all in this together, symbiotic. No matter how you see yourself personally, I see yourself as an, amu uh, an amazing and wonderful entity and being. And we'll leave it at that. Having a human experience or any kind of alien experience, I ain't gonna judge. You know, there's all kinds of beings out in the universe. Anyway, I love you. God loves you and the universe is crazy about you. Okay, bye.